If you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Take a deep, long and full breath through your nose, filling up your chest and belly. And then let the air all out slowly and gently. Continue breathing deeply and slowly as you bring up in your mind's eye someone or something you're grateful to or for. Breathe and appreciate. In your imagination, see the person or thing in front of you and fill yourself up with feelings of gratitude and appreciation. What did Jesus say? Good morning, everyone. This week, we're looking at the rule of law. We're going to start with a true or false game. I'm going to read out some laws and you need to decide whether the law is true or whether the law is false. OK, first law. If you own chickens, it's illegal to let them cross the road. Show me on your thumbs. True or false? Have a think. For most of the world, that's false. But there's a state in America called Georgia where it is illegal to let your chicken cross the road. Apparently, the state of Georgia in America likes to ensure the safety and sacredness of chickens. Next law. It's illegal to hold salmon under suspicious circumstances. Salmon's a type of fish. It's illegal to hold salmon under suspicious circumstances. Is that true or false? Have a think. It's true. Section 32 of the Salmon Act, 1986, stipulates that it's an offence to handle salmon under suspicious circumstances. The maximum penalty for this is two years imprisonment. Suspiciously holding a salmon is a pretty funny offence to be arrested for. OK, next law. It's illegal to walk your dog more than three times a day. Is that true or is it false? Have a think. And that's false. In fact, there's a little area in Italy where by law you have to walk your dog at least three times a day. OK, next law. It is illegal to wear a suit of armour in British Parliament. Is that true or is that false? Have a think. It's true. You're not allowed to wear a suit of armour in the Houses of Parliament. It's a law that dates back to 1313. But seeing as armour uh, isn't really fashionable anymore, the law still stands. No one's taken it away. OK, last one. You're not allowed by law to stick a stamp on an envelope upside down. Is that true or is it false? Have a think. It's true. Apparently, it's an act of treason. Treason is when you betray your country or the monarchy, in our case, the Queen. If you were to stick a stamp upside down, the Royal Mail don't mind. It will still get to where it's going, but technically it's illegal. There are still some strange and weird laws out there, but when they were first written, they made sense. 
we have laws to protect us and our things. Our laws are there to make sure that we have fairness and that we're kept safe. Here's a little video that links rights, laws and responsibility. Hello, boys and girls. Today, we are going to talk about laws, rights and responsibilities. Citizens have rights or special things that people are allowed to do. But rights do not allow people to do whatever they want. Government leaders create laws to make sure this doesn't happen. Laws are a set of rules that protect people and the things they own. In the United States of America, citizens have freedom of speech. People have the right to talk about important things and share their opinions. But they still have to obey the laws. It is part of a citizen's responsibility to follow the law. A responsibility is a duty or something that people must do. Citizens also have the right to buy the things that they need or want. They cannot just take them. That is against the law. Laws help citizens live safely and fairly with one another. Let's review. Rights are special things that citizens are allowed to do. Laws are a set of rules that protect people and the things they own. The government creates laws to make sure that people don't do whatever they want. This keeps citizens and their property safe. It is part of a citizen's responsibility to follow the law. A responsibility is a duty or something that people must do. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Yesterday, you heard from our sports ambassadors and they introduced to you how far it is that we've got to get moving in order to reach Tokyo. Here's a special message from Sam Ruddock. Hi everybody at Claypole, it's your Inspire Plus ambassador and Great Britain Paralympic track cyclist Sam Ruddock. How are you doing? Two thumbs up, everyone good? It's good to see you all, I hope you're doing well. I have heard that you are taking part in the Get Set Travel to Tokyo Challenge, which means you are taking part in physical activity and all of the minutes that you do are being converted into miles so you can get to Tokyo before I can. Get there before me. So rude. You didn't even ask me first. <laughs> no, you guys, you'll be great. You'll be fantastic. So get stuck in, get involved and see if you really can get to Tokyo before me. I've also heard you're taking the scenic route. You're going through America and through Australia to get to Japan, to get to Tokyo. Well, I wish you best of luck. Travel as fast as you can. Jump high, run fast. However, however active you're being, do it as best as you can. But I won't explain anymore. I'll let the Young Ambassadors tell you more about it. So good luck, everyone. Have fun. Young Ambassadors, over to you. Thanks, Sam Ruddock. That was Sam Ruddock. All right, boys and girls, let's conclude our collective worship with a prayer. And if you'd like this prayer to be your prayer, it's our at the end. You're welcome to look at the candle flame. We can put your hands and your eyes together if that helps you to reflect. Dear God, thank you for laws that help to protect us and our things. Thank you for laws that help us to live safely and fairly. Amen. On Friday, it's Red Nose Day. And we're inviting you all to come to school wearing something red. That might be some red socks, some red shoes, a red top, a red hair bunchy. And that's going to be in exchange for a smile that you're willing to share with other people and a small donation, which can be added to the Comic Relief website. I've got my something red ready. Right, boys and girls, that concludes our collective worship for today. Remember, work hard. Be kind, look after yourselves, and I'll see you around school.